I'm super excited. It's not often a final planning meeting can do this. I got really emotional and I started crying because I realized a year ago, we didn't do anything like this. Um, and I think about what it could mean, not just for us as a VCU and VCU health community, but for us as a larger Richmond community. Dr. Marcel Davis is with VCU Health and has been organizing VCU Health's first cultural festival. The streets around VCU Medical Center will turn into a full-blown festival Saturday morning, food, music, face painting, and medical screenings. Dr. Davis explains the why behind the fun is the big part. We were looking for an opportunity to really celebrate um, the relationships that we've built, the incredible work that we're doing in the inclusive excellence space. And we thought, what better way to do it in June and to celebrate Juneteenth, Pride Month, and Caribbean American Heritage Month. And so as we thought about what we could do to honor all of those tribute months, we said, you know what? We're just going to do a cultural festival. The celebration is aimed at highlighting the many cultural experiences and perspectives that make up the entire Richmond community. We serve an incredibly diverse patient population, right? And that's not lost on us. And our goal is always to learn from each other. Dr. Davis says it's critical for healthcare providers to recognize and deepen their understanding of their patients to improve health outcomes. Cultural competence really is the vehicle that allows us as healthcare providers to be culturally responsive. And in order for us to do that, we've got to get those diverse perspectives and views and lived experiences, because that's what equips us to really serve our patients. The festival is gonna be from 11 in the morning to two in the afternoon on Saturday. They're shutting down 12th Street between Broad and Marshall. That's where all of this is going to be. Free parking is available at the Children's Tower. And the first 300 attendees will actually get free food tickets, so make sure you get out there early. We'll put all these details on our website. That's WTVR.com. In Richmond, Jake Burns, CBS 6.